Welcome to a Tiny Rhino's WordPress video tutorial series. If you have a WordPress website and you would like to get higher search engine rankings, then head on over to atinyrhino.com and sign up your website. In this video tutorial, we are going to show how to add custom PHP to any page in WordPress. Now, for those people who are experienced as an admin in WordPress, you probably know how to add a web page. Well, the problem to PHP developers is that there is no quick way to add PHP without adding a plugin or doing it through a functions.php page, but sometimes that just gets a little hard to manage. So instead, you can actually add PHP into any page template. I'm going to show you how to do that. And what's interesting is that the normal page.php script usually comes like this for several of the themes. And this line right here is where all that content comes. So basically, when you are typing your content here, the PHP on this line will display that content along with the HTML that you might have on this on this tab okay so what if you just wanted to put custom PHP in there well the one thing we can do is we can save this page.php file to another file so let's go ahead and do that but we're gonna call it page underscore custom PHP and we're gonna say dot PHP because we always have to end our WordPress files with a .php file. So let's save that. Now we are no longer editing the page.php script. Now you don't want to always you don't want to do that because most of your themes pages will be using that default page.php template. So you want to always save it under something else. It could be any name you want it to be. And there's a couple of changes. First thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and let's name this. So Within your, your comments, okay, your PHP comments, you want to just add this line of code, template name, and put a colon, and then you can just give it any name you want, custom PHP. Now, go ahead and save it. And when you are editing your page, it should show up right here in the template. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to refresh this page. So now when we refresh this page, we will now have in our menu custom PHP. Let's go ahead. Let's update it with this template. So whatever template name you are creating, it will show up under your page attributes section in the pull down for template. Let's go ahead, let's view this page right now. Now what's going to happen is we're going to see that content because we haven't changed anything yet. So this is on webdesignermall.com. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my PHP and I'm going to just remove that line of code. Remember, I'm not in the default page.php script. I'm in this new template that I created. So we're just going to save it. And if we refresh our web page, you'll find that there's no content. It's gone because we removed that line. But look at I left. I actually left the PHP directives here. If you recall, let me undo this line and let's add it. This is a PHP function that comes with WordPress. So you can put any PHP you want. So if I was to display the date, maybe just the year, I'll say, let's just echo. Today is, let's put the date here, m slash d slash y. I save that. Let's refresh. Now it says today is and the date, whatever the date is. Isn't that interesting? So now 
we are no longer displaying any of the WordPress content that's on that page in this custom PHP. You can do anything you want with this, including adding MySQL queries. You can do curl. You can do any type of PHP. And that's exactly how it's done. Well, let's go ahead and put our content back. Actually, we're going to leave it like that. But what we are going to do is we're going to edit this page and we're going to put back the default page.php script. So let's go ahead and do that. Just say the default and click update. And that is how you add PHP to your page templates. Because now you can give it any type of permalink that you want. And that's it. You now have a URL for your custom PHP pages in WordPress. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, go to atinyrhino.com to register your website to get higher search engine rankings. Thank you.